Hello. I've been gone for a while. I've been gone for a minute. Um, one reason is because I don't want to say I've been busy, but I have been busy. Two, I got a little intimidating. Or intimidating? Intimidating? What's going on? I let fear take over. I let fear take over. I started doing videos of just talking about God. You know what I'm saying? And um, sharing my personal lessons in life. Um, videos of me sharing the love of God in a nutshell. And it was maybe my second to last video I was talking about um, discipleship and in the process of making that video y'all don't even understand like fear just literally like came over me and I was like praying before I did the video I was praying and I literally I want to say I, I had clips of the video I don't know if I still have them but I kid you not, I cut that video at least, at least five or six times. Like, I just could not, I could not get it. As I look back over it, it was fear. It was fear taking over and I didn't like that. And I didn't know, I don't know, but it, fear took over and I started thinking like, I don't know enough to do this. I don't know enough to share the love of God, which is whack. And I just kept coming up with excuses of not making the videos and just not sharing, which is sad, but it happened. But recently my church had a, um, a night prayer instead of Bible study and I really truly appreciate the man of God for for listening and obeying and and I just really thank God for beating me a little bit because I'm like <sighs> I want to go I'm gonna go I'm gonna go I'm gonna go I'm gonna go but then when I got off work I'm like I'm tired but I'm tired every day and I still have time to do homework. I still have time to not do the dishes. I still have time to just do a little stuff. So I'm like, girl, get your life. And so I went to church. Thank God I went to church. Um, we had a revival. I had a revival. And hashtag get bold. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have time to play games. I don't have time to come up with excuses of not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't have time. I just, I don't have time. So, from here on out, I'm going to start being bold. Being bold again, being bold better, just being bold. And I, I really truly appreciate that hashtag. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to be a disciple, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to bring people in, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be the church, you know what I'm saying? Um, and in all seriousness, I have to do better because living in the world, being of the world is not cute, it's not fun, it's stressful, it's tiring, and I don't like it. I don't like it. So I got me a new camera. <laughs> I, why do I keep being extra? I got a new camera and I am pretty excited. I'm pretty excited to be here. I am excited that I get another chance, even though I do not deserve it, but my God is greater and he loves us so much that he gives us chance after chance uh, until he does it. <laughs> And I don't want to be there. Um, 
and I just really I really truly 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 I really really thank God I really thank God for his love and compassion for me for us and I just really truly thankful I am truly truly thankful for him for his love for his protection like this month has been trash it has been trash after trash after trash but I literally had to break down and be like you need to change your perspective because like you have had so much good happen so much good happened it's it's like um it's crazy it's crazy but it's not crazy because that's how god works like like and i know this like so it shouldn't be crazy but it is every time it's just a humbling i'm rambling right now but i'm just like i'm in awe and let's let's not skip over that let's let's go ahead on into it i was on instagram the other day i'm yelling I was on Instagram the other day and I just felt moved to tell my story, <laughs> tell my story of April, uh, just where I was and where I am now. It's, I'm not going to say it's miraculous, but it's, I'm grateful to be where I am today. So let's get to it. So I'm going to be reading from my Instagram, you know? Why do I keep doing it? Okay. Hashtag get bold. So for the month of April, I was legit depressed. Not cute. I was depressed at where I was working. Uh, where I was spiritually and just in a bad mood. But then I went to church and we had a prayer night. I was renewed in my mind, body, and spirit. I was depressed because I was so focused on the bad and not focused on God and all he's given me. He gave me a job with adult benefits. <laughs> he made sure I got paid a dollar more at my current job. I was given a new car. Why do I? My mom had a successful surgery and recovery. I've been at I've been in at least three art shows within two months. Like, gee, I had so much to be thankful for. But yet, I was choosing death over life. Changing your perspective on your life and choose life. Choose God. He's for you and will never leave you. My mans, you're breathing. Be thankful and know you have God on your side. I love you. I love you. And like... like what the whole entire month of april i was stuck in yuck because i chose to be there i the whole entire time i was in a funk i knew what i had to do i literally was like somalia just pray somalia just pray somalia you need to wake up you need to pray somalia get up bro get up bro bro get up pray bro talk to god bro seek god but every time i would ignore it i would rather stay where i was which is trifling trifling instead of focusing on the bad i want you to challenge yourself and think about the good that's happening think about what made you smile think about what made your day think about something that someone gave you or said to you in a positive light when i say choose life over death i literally mean choose things that give you life that make you happy that make you smile over dirt over negativity over you stubbing your toe on the corner of a table 
anything that is just like Ugh, why choose okay wipe over death choose god over what is going on negativity what negatively instead of focusing on things that you cannot control think about the things that God is in control of and when you think about the things that are in control by God think about how magnificent it will be think about how pure it is think about how clean it is if you're a visual person visualize this ball of yuck in the middle of the street that is dirty muddy grimy green just gross and then picture god picking that grossness up and you looking at it after he picks it up and you see how golden it is you see how clean it is you see how pure it is and think of what you can't control but god controls that thing that is just uh and then when he picks it up it's like ah oh, okay life over death give your life of death over to god and see how your life changes at the end of the day like y'all You can say it's easier said than done all you want. But at some point in your life, you got to pick it up. You got you got to pick it up. I always give this example of you can stand in the middle of the street as it rains and complain. But at the end of the day, it's going to keep raining. Either you're going to get in the car and keep it pushing or you're gonna stand there in the rain as life goes on because life goes on whether you stay whether rather whether rather whether either way life goes on whether you stay in the middle of the street as it rains or if you get in that car and you keep it pushing and you go with God. Life over death. What you gonna do? You gonna stay in there and get rained on? Or you gonna get in that car and get rained on while being covered by God? Dry. Covered by God. Come on now. Like, I chose life over death when I got up out of that ball of tears for that whole month of April, trash, trifle. I got up, I had to, like, life was going on and I was just stuck. But I didn't like being stuck, so I had to get up. I had to get up and I had to change my perspective. I had to change the way I looked at things. I had to change the way I looked at my job. I had to change it. I had to change it. If I didn't change it, I would have been where I, like, still stuck, still sad, still depressed. Like, going nowhere. Just stuck in the world. I don't want to be in the world. You don't, you shouldn't want to be in the world either. Like, what is the world giving you? Besides stress and anger and just, ugh. ugh. No. Choose life over death. If you have any prayer requests, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hit me up on any of the social medias that will be linked in my bio. And um, y'all be blessed. I love y'all. Choose life over death.
Choose life over death. Hey, choose life over death. Hey. Okay, bye.